Hi, Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. Look, we're still getting the fine tuning of all the parts and pieces of uh, our new setup. So kind of bear with me, I hope. When misguided people unintentionally lead you down the wrong path, that's what we're going to talk about. Bloggers in particular, budgets, and where they fall short often. So let's talk about it. Okay, there are a few, and honestly, a few bloggers who put forth good budget information. And there are a few, and again, a few, that put forward very good expense information. So the first thing that you need to learn is the difference between a budget and expenses. When bloggers start putting forth this information, they need to learn the difference between the two as well. Because we see this often just come totally screwed up. And, um, and, and it leads you down the wrong path. You, you, although they don't mean it in many instances, in, in order for you to understand it, you, you have to comprehend the difference between the two and the effort that goes forward between the two. So let me start with two things. First off, please, if you like our information, if you're informative, if it gets satirical at times, funny, drama, whatever, but you appreciate the effort we put into it, Please do subscribe and hit that thumbs up. It really helps. The second thing is, is I'm not pointing my fingers at anybody, but I want you to learn just these two things, if nothing else, in this video. Number one, a budget is just like starting a business. You will have capital, working capital. You'll have assets, all right, necessary assets to keep your budget or your business going. And then you'll have expenses, and then you'll have revenue. Now, there are many other subcategories, but those are the basics. I mean, we're not going to talk about depreciation, amortization, anything like that, all right? You've got to have the money to get here. When you come to the Philippines, it's like starting a business, you're starting over in many, many respects. Now, some of you are coming over and you've got family over, or you've got a long distance relationship and you're going to be living with them, you know, but you still have to take those things into account. Expenses are just a lot, set of line items in the budget. So when people do expenses, that's not a budget. That's just what they are spending. And they are individuals, just like you're an individual. You are going to be different no matter what, where you live, how you live, what makes you happy. That may be not be the same thing as someone else. The other thing that we see quite often is people don't really pay attention to the nickels and dimes. All right. They really and truly don't. And in the expense side, that really matters, especially when you're talking to an audience. Some of our audience are coming over on limited budgets. So for them, every nickel and dime may not be much, but it does represent something. It really does. We did a 
I, I say we, Arlen, beat it into me a little bit. You know what? Why don't you just keep your change for one week? One week, keep your change and put it in a pile over here. All right, because I always just throw my change in the change bucket that we have. Or a lot of times I won't even take the coins unless they're 20s and up from a, a restaurant bill or whatever. I'll leave them with the tip. At the end of the week, I had 350 pesos. Actually, it was two weeks. 350 pesos in those coins. <clears throat> You've got to be able to discern the difference. Um, you know, we, we talk about expenses, and you look at these bloggers, where they live, how they live, and I'm not saying anything's wrong with it. I'm just saying those are the expenses reflective of that, just like us, all right? I think we did an expense, I know I did, an expense video one time or two maybe even, and people were astounded at what we spent. But we were in a uh, moving stage at that point in time. And our expenses are going to be radically different because we travel a lot. Okay? We have family that we pay for that travels a lot. We have a home down in Mindanao, which requires that we uh, go to the airport. Uh, so most of the time it's Manila for to go to Butuan. Then from Butuan, we have to take transportation to Kicharao, and that's where we have a home. All right? These things add up. No, you, you may think, oh, well, you know, 50 pesos here, 200 pesos there, you know, five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. Five bucks actually adds up. It doesn't matter how much money you have. You watch every penny, all right? Or you should. You should watch every little bit that comes and goes. So when these bloggers do these, I don't think it's intentional. I don't think they mean for it to be not in depth. But, you know, we see people who talk about, well, this is what I spent on food. This is what I spent on water. This is what I spent on electricity. And I see in the background of their video, two dogs laying around. I didn't see anything about what they spent on dog food. I didn't see anything on what they spent on vets. I don't see anything what they spent on vet, uh, veterinary medications. I don't see anything about what they spent on flea powders or shampoos, anything like that. All right. Uh, maybe they're using human sh uh, regular shampoo um, as well on the, on the dog. I don't know. But they're not taking the dog to the family doctor, that's for sure. But you see where I'm going with some of these things. It's the small extraneous items that will confound your trip. Don't be looking at this as how much am I going to spend to live someplace. Instead, we recommend the same thing that we've always recommended. You come here on a fact-finding mission. Just like if you were to build a business, you would do your market research. You would look at what your target audience is, the product that you're selling, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, you're opening a business. It's your retirement dollars are funding, and you're spending those retirement dollars, whether they be in passive income or and savings or whatever, you've got that and you've got the expense of going on. So we recommend that you have at least one trip here under your belt where you spent four to six weeks and you looked at multiple locations and you didn't just screw off at uh, those locations. You actually looked at properties, looked at rentals, got an idea as to what it would cost, went in the grocery stores, took a few notes. Don't worry, nobody's going to make fun of you for writing notes, all right? Simple enough. Or, you know, get a point-and-click camera and just snap, 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 all right? And look later at the prices. Get an idea. Understand where it is you're going. 
then understand what it's going to take for you to be happy. If you're going to need access to Western style foods, you may need to be in a larger town. All right. The province is where our home is. Okay. The province doesn't have major grocery stores. The province doesn't have a cardiologist, all right, or an endocrinologist. The province doesn't have, and I say this, I should have reset that most of the time, but you're very infrequently going to find anything in the province that has a 24 hour hospital, a cardiologist, an endocrinologist, a dialysis center, and it's going to be within walking distance of um, some place like SNR or Landers to get Western style foods. But you can sit there and say, you know what, Mike, I'm not going to eat that. That's not what I'm going to be eating. I'm going to be living Filipino. And that's great. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if that's not what you have done already, we suggest you come over and try that. In the meantime, we suggest you take with a grain of salt everybody's budget and expense videos. There are only a few that I would consider put forth a really good effort. And the reason is simple. It has to be condensed. And there is no way that I could put together a budget video in under an hour. There's just no way. And nobody is going to watch that. I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't watch it. I would just say, I'll go over there and f figure it out myself, okay? Nobody is going to do that. Um, nobody is going to attack it that deep. Well, very few people are going to attack it that deeply. So with all of those things being said, you're an individual. Figure out what makes you happy. And you can't figure out what's going to make you happy in terms that you can describe until you've been here. Many people come here multiple times over the years exploring and trying to get a good idea as to where they're going to go. Some of them want to be in the province. Some of them want to be in the city. Some of them want to be halfway between. Whatever makes them happy is what's important either way. With a grain of salt is how you should take those blogs. Let us know what you think. In fact, if you think you know somebody that puts forth really good budget and expense videos, or one or the other, put it in the comments section. They'd certainly appreciate the exposure, and I'd certainly like to see what your thoughts are as well. Otherwise, we really do wish that you have a great day.